thousands uh, of people have gathered once again. Uh, still they come in their thousands just to uh, pay tribute and uh, around the country too to witness the proclamations of King Charles III as the new monarch. And as we speak uh, behind me here, uh, horses and troops uh, coming past the crowd uh, who are here again, as I say, to uh, lay their floral tributes. Here they are, and uh, people have just come all day. They walk slowly down the mall, they move slowly towards the palace gates, and then they move on. The king has arrived at uh, Buckingham Palace for meetings with senior Commonwealth officials, as the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda says he will call for a referendum on becoming a republic. Here at Buckingham Palace, crowds are still gathering. Now, Northern Ireland, Windsor Castle. as proclamation ceremonies for King Charles III are held around the country. Trothwyd am Hallas St. James, a degved deed o vedi, a mlui ein hatlui dwy fil a dwy ar hygan. To whom we do acknowledge all faith and obedience with humble affection, beseeching God by whom kings and queens do reign, to bless his majesty with long and happy years to reign over us. Do now hereby with one voice and consent of tongue and heart publish and proclaim that the Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late sovereign, happy of memory, become our only lawful and rightful liege lord, Charles III. Ah, ah! God save the king. God save the king. possibility of his country having a referendum on the country becoming independent in the next three years. Now, Mr Brown said it's not a matter of uh, uh, hostility or differences uh, between the countries of Antigua and Barbuda and uh, the monarchy. Uh, he's talking about the final step uh, to complete the circle of independence. Remember this uh, follows talks about independence in Jamaica after a visit uh, by uh, uh, William and Kate, the new prince and princess of Wales. They were criticised for shaking hands with people through a mesh fence um, and also uh, uh, looking very colonial in an old Land Rover. Anyway, uh, the better news on the uh, uh, on the uh, the uh, countries becoming independent, of course, it came overnight in an interview with Sky News. The uh, Prime Minister of Australia, the new Labour Prime Minister, Anti Albanese, uh, told uh, Sky News, no uh, independence uh, moves there for three years. So that's that issue. Now, what's happening here? Further events uh, over the next few days, Mark. Now, in what? Uh, about an hour's time, there's a service for MPs and peers in St Margaret's Church, just across the road from Parliament, the little church next door to uh, Westminster Abbey. Then tomorrow, big event tomorrow, um, in the morning, the uh, King and Queen Consort, as Charles and Camilla, uh, are coming to Westminster Hall. Uh, 
uh, where both houses of parliament, MPs and peers, are going to meet uh, to express their condolences. The King will make his reply. What we are expecting is um, speeches, more uh, pledges of uh, loyalty, uh, following the humble addresses of the Commons and the Lords yesterday. Um, uh, the Speaker of the uh, House of Commons, Sir Lindsay Foyle, will speak, then the Lord Speaker, that's Lord McFall, and the King will reply. Um, then, of course, uh, the uh, King and Queen are off to Scotland, where, among other things, they'll meet uh, they'll go to the Scottish Parliament, they'll meet the First Minister. And number 10 have stressed today uh, that, uh, unlike an announcement yesterday when they said the PM was joining the King and Queen, uh, they're not accompanying uh, them. They're attending, she's attending the church service. There's something, some criticism after the announcement that uh, the Prime Minister will be joining them on what's described as a tour Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Then, of course, the uh, lying of state here in Westminster starts on Wednesday, Westminster Hall. I can tell you...